This is the direct message Tunisia's youth want to send to President Zain al Abidin Ben Ali. Mr. President, people only want to live and their voices are not heard. Go to the street and see with your eye. And that frustration has found its voice on Tunisia's streets. The government has responded, beefing up the police presence and deploying the army to maintain control. Unconfirmed reports say 14 civilians have been killed in clashes in the past 24 hours. Protesters say the police used live ammunition to quash a protest in at least one town. For the first time in a country where media is tightly controlled, state television has taken notice, flighting images of what they call vandalism by protesters. The government claims a sinister agenda is behind the protests, but at the same time is taking notice. The message has been received by the government and all political channels. With the backing of the president, we have already put in place urgent measures and allocated 5 billion US dollars for the development of various towns, including those on the borders and the center of the country. It's been nearly three weeks since protests against unemployment began in the central Sidi Bouzid region. And just as they soon spread to the capital Tunis, so has the cause of the protesters. Where it was once about lack of job opportunities for young people, now they are speaking out against what they call police and state repression. Rapper Hamada Ben Amor, known as the General, was arrested last week after he released this song online. But as more take to the streets and others spread the message and the pictures online, the protests may prove increasingly difficult to contain. Khadija Magadi, Al Jazeera.